throw away. I, 32F, have a 14-year-old daughter Jess. Her father and my husband died in an accident when she was young, so it's been just us two for a long time. As a result we are very close, and she's a lot more open to me than most kids are with their parents. Around a week ago she asked me if I could take her to the movies on a date with a guy in her class. I know the guy distantly because they've done some extracurriculars together and I was thrilled he was my daughter's first back quote boyfriend. I took them a few days ago and they ended up hanging out at our house for a bit afterwards. He was extremely polite and maybe it's just the mum inside me but I couldn't be happier for her. I went to my older sister's house for coffee earlier this morning. Backstory, my sister has two teenagers, 16 and 17, who live almost full time with their dad. They had a very messy divorce around 3 years ago, and both kids choose to live with their dad. The reason for this was because my sister was extremely overbearing on them. She was the kind of mum who believed kids should have no privacy and she should run their lives until they were adults. I know she had many arguments with them because she would take away their doors, not let them hang out with friends, search through their phones every night etc. This was the primary reason for her divorce, although she won't admit that. While I love her, as someone who grew up with little privacy I fully understand why her kids don't want to live with her. My daughter came up in conversation and so brought up her first date. When I explained how it went, my sister laughed and told me that I must be joking. When she realized I was serious, she told me I was a terrible mother for letting my daughter walk all over me and not setting boundaries. She ranted on for a while, but she basically said that 14 year olds are incapable of going out themselves and that I was being lazy and neglectful by allowing her to do that. She also said back quote I would never allow my kids to do that, so I replied by saying back quote that's exactly why your kids drive with their dad. She got very quiet and then told me to leave. When I got home I started thinking more about what I said and while at the time I thought I was simply telling her what she needed to hear, now I'm wondering if I crossed the line. NTA. She opened things up to such a comment when she decided it was okay for asterisk her asterisk to criticize asterisk your asterisk parenting. She just doesn't want to hear the truth and would rather think she is a flawless parent despite the evidence. What you said might have hit her where it hurts, but again, she set herself up for that by attacking your parenting choices. Exactly. If it's okay for her to criticize your underscore parenting skills, it's more than acceptable for you to shed some light on hers. NTA, your sister thinks holding boundaries is the same thing as making demands, and she'll eventually learn that her children aren't accessories to treat as she wishes without consequence. But consequences are F-O-R-T-H-E-K-D's, not for the adults. Slash S. Why are people always so Pikachu face surprised when the victims of their abuse don't want them in their life? NTA, your sister judged you rudely and harshly as a parent. She put herself up to be the paragon of motherhood compared to you. It is more than fair to stand up for yourself. It's actually funny that she didn't consider that you could throw much more back in her face, but if she was more introspective, she might still be married. She started the fight and you finished it. Here's the other thing, she isn't going to be happy with you anytime soon, but it might actually spark something in her regarding how she has treated her kids. There could be something positive for them down the road. She first has to acknowledge she was a terrible parent. She first has to acknowledge she was a terrible parent. Yeah, you know that ain't happening. If having both your kids choose their father over you doesn't do it, one little tiff with your sister sure ain't gonna. NTA. You are providing your child with a safe environment in which she can grow and explore. Your sister is the poster child of helicopter parents. I applaud her kids for choosing to live with her dad. Good on you for telling your sister like it is. What I find ironic here is that so many parents would insist on chaperoning their 14 year old kid on a date, and that would be textbook helicoptering, but Ops daughter actually invited her to do this. There's exactly the same level of safety happening, but with no loss of trust. Ops done some damn fine parenting to have a relationship like that. NTA. A hit dog hollers. She was only upset by what you said because deep down she knows it's the truth and doesn't want to admit it to herself or anyone else. 
She also had no issue questioning Op's parenting, but was Pikachu shocked when Op did it back. NTA. She knows it's true, so she's as mad over it. But wait, did you just say she took away doors to monitor her kids at all times, like, off the hinges and everything? I'm sorry I laughed a little, only because that sounds comical or straight out of a goddamn cartoon. She sounds absolutely ridiculous, and I'm glad the kids are with the dad. She should be the last to be talking about anyone else's parenting when she's pushed her own kids b slash c of her bitterness. It reminds me of that one Ed, Ed and Eddie episode where Ed got grounded and his parents took away the stairs. What happened to the stairs? HTTPS slash slash yauta point b slash iarg one fj 55 voc. The doors weren't the only unhinged thing in that household. Edit. Wow. Thanks for all the awards. I wasn't expecting all that. NTA. Could you have said it a little more kindly? Perhaps. But it's the truth and she needed to hear it. Agreed. Sister opened that door for judgment when she openly began to criticize Op's parenting skills and it doesn't seem like she held back. You get what you give. NTA. NTA truth hurts sometimes. NTA she was wrong to equate controlling behavior with good parenting and even more wrong to berate your good parenting. She walked right into that one. Lmao, NTA. At least someone said it to her. Doubt it will stop at 18 either. Once that monkey brain starts it doesn't stop. I rarely speak to my own mother and oftentimes block her for months at times, even in my 30s, because she is simply so controlling. Might have to do this with both my parents. Does it give you much peace of mind? If so, why do you unblock her at all? Is going NC something you would ever consider doing? NTA. It's hurtful to hear, and could be arguably back quote mean to say. That being said she was the one who started being hurtful first by calling you a lazy and neglectful parent, when actually you handled your daughter's first date slash boyfriend incredibly well. You gave her a reality check. NTA. Maybe you were right on the borderline, but she clearly crossed it when she interfered with your decisions in parenting. Furthermore, from experience, having a real close connection with your mom to the point of considering her your best friend and being granted my independence from a young age has only brought me joy and fulfillment in life. Same here, my mom is still my best friend. It was honestly the best deterrent for me not to be a little asshole as a kid. I didn't want to do anything to upset her and change that dynamic. NTA sounds like you told her a home truth. NTA she literally accused you of abusing your child for going to a movie. N-E-G-L-E-C-T equals A-B-U-S-E. She can't be serious. NTA. Weird how she's giving you parenting advice when that's the very reason her entire family left. NTA. You were simply telling her what was necessary for her to maybe understand what went wrong on her side. I understand how you could think you went too far, but if you ask me, you didn't overstep any boundaries. She can't tell you how to parent your kid when she drove her husband and kids away. NTA. Op, why does your sister get to call you a lazy, neglectful, foolish, and passive mother to your face, but when you point out the consequence of her overbearingly controlling parenting style you're in the wrong? She doesn't get to point fingers and have a fit when a finger is pointed back. When you next have a chance to talk to her, I'd suggest that the topic of parenting is a banned subject for the both of you cause she can't handle it. Talk about the weather instead. NTA. You told her a truth that she needed to hear. It may not have any effect, but it is the truth. NTA. Boundaries are about asterisk why owe you asterisk and what you will accept from people towards yourself. Your sister isn't setting boundaries with her kids. She's trying to control slash smother them. Two different apples. NTA. It's always the people who have terrible relationships with their kids who want to hand out parenting advice. That fact that neither of her children live with her isn't always indicative of bad parenting. Humans always choose the path of least resistance, but in this case her lack of boundaries was also the reason for her divorce. Sees needs to do some self-reflecting. If you want to maintain a relationship with your sister this will probably come up again, so it might help to rehearse a little speech, something that maintains that her boundary stomping is a problem, but also offers the olive branch of helping her address the behavior, so that she can be a better person.